Welcome to Prophecy Investigators and Revelation Watchers for our Presidential Reflection Series. Each day we reflect on the prayers and proclamations of past leaders who have called our nation to repentance and prayer during times of great challenge. Today, I want to highlight a significant proclamation from President James Madison during the War of 1812, where he called the nation to a day of public humiliation, fasting, and prayer. At that time, America was facing immense struggles and uncertainty, and President Madison urged the American people to humble themselves before Almighty God. He encouraged them to confess their sins and seek God's favor for the safety and welfare of the nation a message that still holds relevance today as we navigate our own challenges. Now I will read President James Madison's Proclamation 18, recommending a day of public humiliation, fasting, and prayer, issued on November 16, 1814. Let's listen closely to his words, which serve as a timeless reminder of the importance of turning to God in prayer for the future of our nation. Proclamation 18, recommending a day of public humiliation, fasting, and prayer, November 16, 1814 by the President of the United States of America, a proclamation. The two houses of the national legislature having by a joint resolution expressed their desire that in the present time of public calamity and war, a day may be recommended to be observed by the people of the United States as a day of public humiliation and fasting and a prayer to Almighty God for the safety and welfare of these states, his blessing on their arms and a speedy restoration of peace. I have deemed it proper by this proclamation to recommend that Thursday, the 12th of January next, be set apart as a day on which all may have an opportunity of voluntarily offering at the same time in their respective religious assemblies their humble adoration to the great sovereign of the universe, of confessing their sins and transgressions, and of strengthening their vows of repentance and amendment. They will be invited by the same solemn occasion to call to mind the distinguished favors conferred on the American people in the general health which has been enjoyed in the abundant fruits of the season, in the progress of the arts instrumental to their comfort, their prosperity, and their security, and in the victories which have so powerfully contributed to the defense and protection of our country, a devout thankfulness for all which ought to be mingled with their supplications to the beneficent parent of the human race, that he would be graciously pleased to pardon all their offenses against him, to support and animate them in the discharge of their respective duties, to continue to them the precious advantages flowing from political institutions so auspicious to their safety against dangers from abroad, to their tranquility at home, and to their liberties, civil and religious, and that he would in a special manner preside over the nation in its public councils and constituted authorities, giving wisdom to its measures and success to its arms in maintaining its rights and in overcoming all hostile designs and attempts against it. And finally, that by inspiring the enemy with dispositions favorable to a just and reasonable peace, its blessings may be speedily and happily restored. Given at the city of Washington the 16th day of November, 1814, and of the independence of the United States, the 38th, James Madison. President Madison's proclamation is a powerful reminder of the importance of humility, prayer, and fasting in times of national crisis. Just as he called the people of his time to seek God's mercy and guidance, we too must unite in prayer for our nation today. As we continue this 40 Days to Save America campaign, I encourage you to take time to humble yourself before God, to pray for our leaders, for the protection of our people, and for the healing of our country. Prayer and fasting are powerful tools that God has given us to intercede for our nation, and now is the time to use them. Thank you for joining us on this journey. May God bless you, and may he bless the United States of America. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with him, or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again and I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word, and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public.
Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 9-1-1, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us, and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you.